Hi everybody, I thought I would give an update via video just so I can try and get the most information in a short amount of time as possible. Um, those of you who know, know that my daughter Greta is battling hepatoblastoma for the second time, which is a very rare form of childhood liver cancer. We've been battling, trying lots of different things, trying to make, um, give Greta the best chance possible. Our doctors in Calgary have been amazing. Um, Calgary does not offer liver transplants, which is what Greta needs. Um, we approached Edmonton, um, and it, from what I can tell in Canada, but especially Edmonton, but in Canada especially, they don't really do liver transplants for relapsed hepatoblastoma. Um, basically because um, there's not much research being done on this. This is a very rare childhood cancer. The research is very old, old more than 12 years old, that the statistics for the survival rates are just not high enough according to that research. Um, so Edmonton basically says no. Also in Canada we have the lowest percentage of organ donors in any developed country in the world. So um, getting an organ, getting on the list for an organ is quite challenging in Canada itself. So we went through that process. Um, we've been going, it's been the crazy roller coaster ride up and down best days, best news days, worst news days, sort of happening over and over again. Um, Toronto, Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto contacted us and said, we want you to come out. We want to see if we could consider helping you by getting Greta a liver. So we came out here, we're out here now, me and Greta, my mom, Steve and Ben were out here, but they have gone home. Um, we went through the whole process and unfortunately, um, Toronto is not going to be able to offer Greta a liver transplant as well. So Greta needs a transplant at this point. That's her only way she's going to survive. Um, so in Canada right now, what we're being offered is, is palliative care. Um, basically, we have, there's some treatment available, but it's basically to buy us time. That's all they can offer us here. So we've sort of exhausted all our options. In the meantime, during this whole process, um, this amazing doctor in the U.S., his name is Dr. Geller, he is sort of the unofficial expert on hepatoblastoma. Um, he just has ended up seeing a lot of cases of it. People from around the world come to him um, to ask advice and ask for treatment for hepatoblastoma. And he's been working amazingly, trying to get our team here to work with us, trying to help them figure out the next steps, trying to get us a transplant. Um, he's very frustrated with our system, as um, we are. Um, and he called me up on Friday yesterday and said, I think you need to come to Cincinnati. Um, we can do better for Greta than palliative care at this point. He said, Greta, in his opinion, Greta still has a chance and he'd like to help us try and give her that chance. Of course, there's no guarantees. So me and Greta and mom are packing up and heading from Toronto to Cincinnati on Monday um, to get over there to see what they can do for us. We're going to try to see if we can get our liver transplant right away. Um, which there's a chance of that, um, so we're going to try that. If not right away, um, they can offer a sort of treatment that doesn't seem to really be available here in Canada that can help to um, localize her cancer in her liver, trying to prevent it from going anywhere else in her body because if it spreads anywhere else, we won't be able to get a liver transplant. Um, right now it's still contained to her liver, so um, a process to help contain it there. And then once it stabilizes, try for a liver transplant there again, um, which is a possibility we can get one again. Of course, no guarantees. They have their own requirements we have to go through and they really have to check her out to see that. So long story short, we've been on this roller coaster ride. Now we've got great news again. We've got hope again, which we didn't have a few days ago. Um, this doctor has been amazing and helping us and he wants to help us more. The problem is um, Alberta Health likely won't pay for it. We are going to see what we can do. We're going to approach them and see what we can do. Big chance that they won't pay for it. Um, and it's very expensive. Um, we've been quoted a very, very, very high dollar amount um, if we end up getting a liver transplant down in the U.S. Um, so we're heading there to figure out that. At a, min at a minimum, we're still going to have a big a bill um, for this trip and this possible treatment that we're looking at giving Greta to hopefully get us time to get a liver and or buy us some time with her. Um, this is real hope. This is not a 1% chance of working. This is real hope and um, 
I thank everyone who has helped us up till now with everything from money and meals to helping us with Ben to so much just support. Um, there's been so much support and I am so grateful for that. And it's really hard for us to ask for more, but this is a really um, daunting amount of money to try and do on our own. So that's the quick update. There's a lot of extra details and if you want them, just contact me and I can give them to you. But that's why we started the GoFundMe campaign today um, to hopefully help us make this happen for Greta and give Greta a real shot. Um, this is a real shot. This is a real legit doctor. He's very um, highly regarded in the pediatric oncology world um, and he, he wants to help us. He's been amazing and he tried to work with our system so that we didn't have to pay out of pocket. He's going to work with us and his hospital to try and minimize any bills as much as we can, but the fact of the matter is there's going to be bills. Um, so thank you so much for watching and supporting us and sharing our GoFundMe and donating to our GoFundMe and I just appreciate your continued support. So we do have the GoFundMe page or there is a couple accounts set up at CIBC and Trust for Greta. Um, the information is on my Facebook page. I'll probably attach it to this post as well, just so it's all there. Um, so thank you for your support and your love and your everything. Um, this is one of the hardest things I could ever imagine going through and having people that support us help. So um, we're not giving up. We have some real hope that we're going to keep pushing. So thank you, everybody.